Hello YouTube, Magma Rhino here, and today is Random Video Day. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very quick release uh, valve for an air cannon using just a few simple parts. This altogether costs about $20. Um, and I know people have done this before, but all the videos are like 240p and from five years ago. So I figured I'd make one that people can actually see. Um, first of all, this is the sprinkler. It is a one inch inline sprinkler. It's got two female ends. Uh, this solenoid. Here's the box. Um, it is an Orbit brand, as you can see there. So first thing you're going to do is unscrew the six screws, which I've done already. You're also going to unscrew this solenoid. And make sure you get both black pieces off with it. So you can see there's one here and there's one here. Those you don't need anymore, you can throw them out. Now as for this, when you first pull it apart, this is what you'll see. This part you can put aside for now. You don't have to tamper that at all. This, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of get your finger under the seal and pop it off here. And now once you do that, you'll be left with the splatter, a spring, and this plastic part. Don't touch these. You don't need to mess with them. So put them over there. And you're left with this. This is the first thing we're going to modify. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in the center. Now I calculated that is right below the B in the middle, underneath the little notch between the hoop and the stick. Um, so you're going to drill a quarter inch hole there, and that's where your quarter inch nipple comes in handy. So what you're going to do is you're going to drill that hole, you're going to screw this in with some Teflon tape, uh, put some JB welder, whatever your instant welder is around that, and I will come right back when I have done that. I also just want to quickly mention, it's a good idea to screw it down. Um, as you can see, I screwed it down. I used a nut there because there's a little peg on this side, that black piece. Um, so I, I just used the nut to balance it out. Um, and this holds it nice and tight when you drill. And you want to drill a half inch hole right in center, as you can see mine is. Um, and then once you do this, you can unscrew it. And I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so now that you have your half inch hole drilled through the top piece right here, what you're going to do is going to get some Teflon tape and you're going to wrap it around one side of your quarter inch nipple. And make sure that gets all the way around. Push it down and then you're just going to screw this in and you are going to tighten it down with the wrench just a little bit. You want it to be a little bit past inside here so you want it to be bumping up out towards you a little bit when you reach in that side so I'm going to tighten that with the wrench in a second uh, but then you can also go ahead wrap some Teflon tape around the other side and then what you're going to do with this is you're going to get your little air release trigger this costs about seven bucks at Home Depot uh, this is the second most expensive part anyway and you're going to screw that in here. And actually you can kind of use this to screw it into uh, the, the plastic as well. But it's, it's better to use a wrench just to make sure uh, you aren't putting strain on the trigger. Um, and then when you're done with this, you're obviously going to want to line it up so that it is the way you want it. Uh, keep in mind the airflow. So the best way would be either like this or flipped around one more rotation, which I'm not going to do. Um, but anyway, once you do this, you only have one more step to do. I'm actually going to rotate it so it's out of the way. You are just going to fill this in here, which is it's a little hard to see. Um, but there's that hole in the bottom and there's a ring. You're going to want to fill all that with your... Uh, instant weldy stuff. You're also going to want to fill in this little slit here. Uh, make sure it's flush. And if you want, you can fill up this hole too. Um, but just inside the hole, not around it, because it, uh, this little peg still has to fit into that hole. Um, but basically, you just want to make sure you're blocking all airflow uh, between these, the ring and that center dot. Uh, you want to make sure no air is getting in through this slit either. So that is very important because if you don't have enough uh, in here and in here, this won't do anything. It won't work. And that's never good. Um, so I'm going to do that now.
hopefully I can just use this stuff as is. I don't need to, uh, yep, okay, it's coming out. So I'm definitely going to get in there. Filling all around there. Oh, and this stuff just smells lovely. It smells like cheap Chinese glue. Alright, and you're going to want to keep in mind that there is a hole in the bottom of this. So it could leak out any second. I am kind of worried it's going to leak onto my desk. Oh. Can I turn this upside down? Hopefully. Alright, and then, oops, sorry if you can't see that. It's very hard to do this while filming. But I'm going to get in there too. That's good. Alright, now this stuff, you need to let it set for a full 24 hours. Especially since you're going to be using it in high pressure situations. Let me just goop a bunch more in there. There we go, that's good stuff. Alright, so as you should be able to see, I have it just kind of globbed in there. I'm not going to turn it over. Um, but I do have it in this bottom part too. And I'm just going to use my finger to make it flush. And then I'm going to wipe my finger on this cardboard. <laughs> because I don't want any of that nasty stuff. All right, and now what you're going to do is you're just going to let this set for about 24 hours. All right, so I'm just going to put that over to the side, put it on some stuff in case it does leak a little bit. Now, what else you got, um, or should have gotten, with your valve, if you got the same one I did anyway, will be these two pieces. And uh, make sure you keep these, because what you're going to want to do is screw these in and uh, use them for your cannon. Uh, my recommendation, well obviously pay attention to these arrows. Um, so this side would be the barrel. Uh, it can be, this is a one inch, so you can have a one inch barrel. You can reduce it to a half inch if you want to do nerf darts, uh, steel bearings. You can enlarge it up to three or four inches if you want to do t-shirt cannon, water balloon cannon, all that kind of stuff. And back here your air tank. Um, Make sure you use Teflon tape, especially on the air tank side of the PVC, to make sure there is no leak at all. Okay, and now that your um, instant weldy stuff has all dried, um, what you're going to want to do is put that back together. First thing I want to do is some quick tips. I would highly recommend getting the 1-inch model. It allows more airflow. Also, this Orbit brand gives you these nice pieces that come with it, which uh, easily allow you to adapt to others. Uh, make sure you have Teflon tape, and the last one is if you get this welder stuff that is one tube and you don't mix it, it will take longer to dry than JB Weld. Um, this was just cheaper, this is why I got it, um, but this took about two days to dry, so that is a little bit of a downside. Um, JB Weld would take about a day, but if time is no limit for you, go with the cheaper stuff like this. Alright, now to put it back together, you're going to have your, your bladder here go in first, then your spring, then this, make sure you line up this little nub with that hole, and then you pretty much just push it together, and it should kind of stay, and then you got your six screws, which I'm going to put in for you so you don't have to watch me do All that. Alright, so now at this point you're done, and this is your sprinkler valve, uh, quick release kind of triggery thing. Um, also, I'd like to say that when you screw these in, I would recommend getting them all so that they're kind of loose like mine are now, and then going in with the hand screwdriver, uh, tightening one down here, crossing over, and jumping back and forth, making sure each one's very tight, because you do want it to be a secure seal. Um, and then once you're done with that, you're all done. This is your um, air valve quick release, and I'm going to be doing a video soon on how to turn this into a nice cannon with interchangeable barrels and a mount, sand, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. I don't normally do this stuff, but um, I will be doing a few videos on my new air cannon once it's completed. And that's pretty much it, so thank you for watching.